How's it going? Hey, so uh, someone told me that you are looking for how to create a thumbnail for your YouTube videos. And hey, listen, it's not that hard. It is not that hard. And I'm here to help you. In fact, all you need for this video are two apps to start you off. You need InShot and this other app called Magic Eraser. That's pretty much all you have to to use for this video. Um, I will show you how to use these to your advantage when you are editing your thumbnails. Okay, so what you'll wanna do is open up your camera roll and take a picture of yourself or use an already existing photo of yourself for the thumbnail you are about to create. After you're done with that, you wanna navigate over to the Magic Eraser where you'll open it up and start the most important editing process of the photo you just took. Now as soon as you select your photo, it should be the most recent photo you just took, you want to crop the photo to create as little background space as possible, and I will show you why in a quick second. So once you're done cropping your photo, what you want to do is erase your background. You want to make yourself the subject of the picture for your thumbnail and make sure that any excess, anything background related is completely eliminated from the possibility of being in your thumbnail. So go to town, make as much finite corrections as you need to, and eventually you'll have a product that looks just like this. Now that you've created the perfect PNG, what you want to do is save the photo and select PNG and click high resolution. Now. After you selected high resolution, you now have what we consider a sticker for your thumbnail. Now you want to open your Safari and type in anything that you can see yourself using as your, you know, thumbnail for your background. I've typed in tropical background and I kind of just scroll down and find the perfect tropic finish for the thumbnail that I want to create. You know, something catchy or whatever. Um, it's up to you what, what picture you decide to use, but, I, but once you find your photo, you want to save it. And then you'll be using that very same photo as your baseline for the platform when you when you select your uh, your thumbnail. So you want to pick you don't want to go to Canvas. Canvas is what you want to guide yourself to, and select the 16 by 9 option and expand your image. Now, as you can see here, the image takes up the full um, you know parameters and stuff of what I've selected. Now I'm going to go into adjustments and make some minor corrections and stuff like that to kind of like, you know, make it brighter or whatever. I mean, that's completely up to you. It's totally optional. You don't have to do it. I select the neon option to make it look more, even more tropical, I guess. Then you select your sticker and there is a picture icon that will allow you to place your, um, or select any sticker and overlay it basically on top of your, your base photo. And um, it's pretty dope in that you can see it's already starting to have a thumbnail type look. Now I won't be outlining this because I actually don't really agree with outlining in every freaking thumbnail. But uh, that's you know personal pre per personal preference. Oh my god, personal preference. So um, here I go on to the text option and then I'll start typing away. As far as like there's a bunch of different fonts that come with InShot, so you can go crazy and you know basically create your thumbnail for this like as far as like you know setting up uh how to make a thumbnail boom 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 there's so many different options i kind of go through a, a whole reiteration of different you know options um fonts and whatnot to finally come and stumble up on the finished product so for this last portion you can make your final adjustments to your background photo that's like what i'm doing right now just the saturation the lightness i even adjust create a vignette so it gives you more of a focus um, on the subject and then boom, that's your final product. Now that you've created your masterpiece, you wanna go up in the top right hand corner and select save photo. And that's the end of the process. That's pretty much the end of the process. It'll save your photo to your camera roll automatically and now you have something to work with every time you create a YouTube video. Thank you so much for watching. Until next time, peace.